Hey everybody, we've got a pretty special video today. Something that only happens once a year in our home state of Michigan. That's the Mackinac Bridge over there. We just walked that this morning. Uh, pretty awesome. Some views you can only get from walking up there once a year. Uh, if that's not enough, after we got done, we had to find a way back to Mackinac City. So we decided to take the ferry to Mackinac Island, spend some time on the island, and then took the ferry back to Mackinac City. A uh, fabulous day for us. Stay tuned for an awesome video. We are Kyle and Nicole, avid travelers from Michigan. In 2021, Kyle quit his job and we have been traveling across North America in our travel trailer while I continue to work full time from the road. We love to create content showing amazing destinations, things to do, free camping spots, and RV life. We hope you will like, subscribe, and comment on our videos and join us for these fantastic adventures. You never know where we will pop up next. Michigan's Mackinac Bridge is a must-see for everyone. It sits above the Straits of Mackinac where the Great Lakes of Michigan and Huron meet and connects the lower and upper peninsulas of the state. At the highest point, the deck sits 200 feet above water. The towers sit 350 feet above the deck. As Michiganders, we have been crossing the bridge by car for years. The feeling we got driving up I-75, seeing the bridge coming into view for the first time, and then crossing the bridge is one of possibility, adventure, and pride. So today, we are super excited to be walking the bridge. A first for me and a third for Kyle. It is the only time of year you are allowed to be on the bridge outside of a vehicle. We started our walk. Walking the Mackinac Bridge in Michigan has been a tradition since the bridge's dedication ceremony in June 1958, and only 68 people walked that year. The following year, in 1959, it was moved to Labor Day and has been held there every year since. We are about 20 minutes into our walk. It has been really neat so far. There's so many people. I would say definitely more people start from Mackinac than St. Ignis. Not to say that there isn't a lot of people on the St. Ignis side. It is a beautiful day. It is about 55 degrees right now. Sunny, beautiful blue sky, no breeze. We are approaching the dreaded grates. Please secure all items super tightly so they don't fall 250 feet to the bottom below. Fun fact for you, periodically they do inspect these grates and when they do find ones that need to be replaced, they actually will remove them and auction them off for people to bid on. They typically go for several hundred to thousands of dollars. Last year, in 2023, an estimated 35,000 people walked the bridge. The most that has ever walked was 62,000 in 1992 when President George H. W. Bush led the walk. We just passed the first tower. You can actually feel the bridge sway as you walk. You can start the walk from either end. The south end, the lower peninsula, is Mackinac City. The north end, the upper peninsula, is St. Ignace. The walk is traditionally led by the governor and is open to walk anytime from 7 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. We've reached the halfway point. There's a little bit of a congestion. Lots of people have stopped just to take pictures, rest for a minute, turn around and go back. During this time, the bridge is closed to all vehicular traffic. They actually stop traffic at 6.30 a.m. and reopen it at noon. If you wish to walk from one end to the other, it is five miles long. Some people actually walk to one side and back doing 10 miles, and they are called double crossers, and you can buy special double crosser t-shirts for it. Well, we are on our way down. It has been about one hour exactly. We just passed the second tower. Super cool. Walkers can walk as much as they want, not having to go all the way to the other side. If you do walk to the other side, you must be to the halfway point by 10 a.m. After that, they start moving the turnaround points closer to the end to ensure everyone can make it off the bridge before it reopens to traffic. 
Welcome to St. Ignace. It took us one hour and 28 minutes. And here is our certificate. Thank you. Go Carl, go Carl, go. We booked a hotel room in Mackinac City so we could get an early start and have an easy place to park our car. Our plan for today is to start our walk in Mackinac and walk all the way to St. Ignace. We will then catch the Scheffler's Ferry to Mackinac Island, spend a little time there, and then take the ferry back to Mackinac. We started an hour and 53 minutes ago and now we have made it to St. Ignace. Well, we stopped, had some food, and continued our journey for today. We have made it to Scheffler's. It is now 11.33. Welcome to Mackinac Island. Mackinac Island is a super popular tourist spot and what makes this island unique is there are no cars allowed on the island, although there are some for emergency uses. The ways to transport are either by foot, bicycle, or by horse. For transportation, you can even arrange for your own private horse and carriage where you drive yourself. On the island, you won't find any national chains of any kind. No Applebee's, McDonald's, or Holiday Inn. One of the nice ways to learn about the island is by taking a horse carriage tour. The tour will take you around to various points of interest around the island and give you some information about its history. You will also get to go through Michigan's very first state park. And, fun fact for you, this park used to be our nation's second national park behind Yellowstone. However, the government gave the land back to Michigan. Mackinac Island has about 500 year-round residents, 600 horses, and 80 miles of road. Probably the number one thing to do on the island is to get yourself some fudge. We spent about two and a half hours on the island before catching the ferry back to Mackinac City where our journey all began this morning. It was a super fun filled day. Walking the bridge is something every Michigander should definitely do in their lifetime. Make sure to put it on your calendar for next Labor Day. Hey,